Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Dice and Sphere program. And as you can see, I'm out here on uh, Les Seth uh, 4 here. I'm actually dropping down another one of the Orbital Collectors, because uh, today I want to start moving ahead into the next stage of the prod, uh, the, the Dice and Sphere program. And that just happens to be setting up structural frames to start join all this stuff together and I don't really know how all it works I was in the main menu and they were normally they'll show something like this but then you actually have like the dice and sphere sections already being built and I didn't know this but you sit in this menu long enough and it actually shows you uh, how it all joins together and I actually got the research queued up right now and might as well get it going uh, but yeah these uh, struck these lightweight structural panels as we go if we go into here uh, these actually Sort of assemble everything, uh, the solar cells into frames. Now I don't know how the, if it affects the longevity of the solar cells it's not, or not, but this is going to be the next stage. Uh, we also need the vertical launch silo to launch this stuff up into orbit. And as you can see, I've got some stuff I got to do. Uh, we do have to get into uranium. Uh, I can't remember how that was made. Uh, I also do have the gravit graviton lenses research. Now I do want to get a facility set up on Lesseth. Was it Leth Leseth two? I think uh, for these things. No, it wasn't those ones. Uh, was it? I think so, yeah. Because for this, I need the diamonds and I need the, the strange matter. The strange matter just happens to be deuterium, iron, and uh, particle containers. And the particle containers uh, are graphene and copper and iron. Uh, Lessa 2 actually has a lot of copper and iron. It does have... Uh, yeah, it has a copper and iron, yeah. And then uh, since I dropped this down, I can get the graphene and the hydrogen to process into deuterium in, uh, from this orbital collector I just dropped down here. Alright, so now we go to Lessa 2. Uh, I actually gotta check and see if I have everything on me that I need. Uh, got miners, smelters, assemblers, all that stuff. Okay, let's go to Les Lessa 2 here and see what we can come up with. Now, currently we're doing pretty good. I have, uh, I'll bring up the program here and just get, gain a little bit of speed. Oop. Uh, what was it? Why? Yes. We are currently at 8,700 solar panels generating 315 megawatts. Now this is, again, this is like just the early stages of it. I'm curious to see how things go as we start getting more up there and more, more parts. Uh, so what I want to do here basically is I want to, like I said, I want to start getting... Not basic. Well, I need solar cells for that, but uh, where was I going to make this? I think I was going to make these back on less of three. I'd have to check that because I got all the graphene built up there. I got the titanium, titanium alloy, and I've got the silicone. But uh, get this. Oh, yeah. Tab to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, I will meet you on the surface. Okay, I was actually wrong. I wanted to actually get everything built on Leseth 1. And Leseth 1 actually makes more sense because it just happens to be in the middle middle of the sections of rings. So you should be able to utilize both both sides of the planet a little bit better. But anyway, so before I left here, I thought I'd get a little bit more silicone production going. So I tapped into another a miner here, or a, another stone vein, yes. And I, I think I should be able to run uh, four four rays going. So it's going to start building more silicon. And it's all going into the elevator over here, which is on local supply. Was it this one? Yeah, it's this one over here. Which again is local supply. So if I go to another planet and set down this uh, lo uh, logistics station, I should be able to get the silicon from here over there. I also got to do the same thing with the graphene. Or not the graphene. The hydrogen and... The fire, the fire ice, but at the same time too, I do have an excess of hydrogen over on Lessa Four, the home planet, that I could probably refine it to deuterium and send over to Lessa One to go ahead and make these things. But anyways, uh, let us go. So we should be not too far away. Uh, hmm, where are you? Oh yes, always look for the sun. There we go. That's the one. Except for the sun and uh, blue little dots shooting away from it. Oh, it's got to keep an eye on my fuel too. Ah, good thing I checked. Uh, let's turn that off. We don't need it right now. Do I have any hydrogen? I do not. Oh, I can burn that. Oh, there's some coal there too. 
I just have to be careful. But anyways, I will meet you there. Close enough. I was trying to hit the lava light, but I didn't. Anyway, so uh, what am I got going on over here? I think I actually have excess of stuff here. I could probably actually start using. So let's see. Basically, what I'm trying to build is those. What else needs that? And so I'm trying to make particle containers, and I use these particle containers with uh, iron and deuterium to make the strange matter, which goes into the graviton lens with diamonds. Now, like I said, I'm making diamond. I can make diamonds on the main planet here and bring them bring him here but this is also a good place to start launching everything off now what do i have for supplies let me see where everything is i got i got the electric motors here we're not producing though why What's going on here Oh, the assembler's just not working fast enough. Anyway, let me uh, work this out, and I will bring you back. Okay, well, this seems fairly easy. Apparently, all my motors are going to storage and going here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that around. And I think I have to actually just take that out and get it going the other direction. Just get rid of that. And we go from here to there. I should start filling it, moving into here and start producing more of these electric motors. Perfect. So now what's next on the agenda? Uh, we are getting to the particle traps. We need copper and graphene. Uh, what do I have coming in at the elevator here? Uh, where is the elevator? There's one. I think it's just the one that I have here. Uh, we are taking... I guess I'm taking in... Yeah, I am taking it in. So we have graphene here already. And I have copper. So now it's just a matter of where I want to get these set up. So let me find a good location. And uh, I might have to run back home and get some fuel. Okay, I'm back on less of the floor here. So uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. My hydrogen production is like complete. Like everything's completely filled up. Filled up. I can't process anymore. Uh, plastic is actually being a bit of an issue because I'm starting to run out of uh, refined oil. It's actually going down pretty quick. It is producing now, but it's kind of affecting other production because I got all other stuff going. So I'm going to have to get rid of this hydrogen. So we might as well do the, do the deuterium here and set it out. Now for this is for, you know, we use a miniature particle collider. Now I am missing the components that I am currently researching and I am kind of being held up on the the purple ones right now so i need to make a whole bunch of processors which i might be able to do by hand but uh let me get this stuff ready and we'll be back okay this should help out a little bit uh what i've done is i've got the output from these tanks going to this these tanks over here which is then again going ahead and feeding the rest of the rest of the lines at least i hope it's feeding everything uh yeah, everything's coming in from these tanks and up, going up. All right, so I still have a little ways to go. I am currently crafting processors uh, manually and hoping that oh, we got a backup of something. I think it's it's all the research that's waiting on this. Uh, I still have a little ways to go, and it's really the purple research that's holding us up. So I'm gonna keep on pushing through, and hopefully be back pretty quick. Okay, this might be a little bit, so I uh, got another assembler, he's making those uh, electronic circuits to help with the processor construction, I'm also making processors myself. But I think maybe we'll uh, start getting everything else ready, uh, we're going to go ahead and... How many diamonds do I actually have? Wow, I actually have a lot of diamonds. I was going to say, let's tap into another uh, another coal vein here, but it, we got plenty of diamonds to go through. So that's not an issue, so then let's uh, go ahead and start getting the particle traps set up uh, over on Lyseth 1. I'm going to take some foundations with me too. Okay, I'm back on Lyseth 1. Now I've noticed that uh, one of the parts that we actually need, which is going to be the, the electric motors, is actually low on the motors, which is actually low on the coils. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually uh, sort of triple the production on these coils and maybe even double it up on the motors to keep things going. So, I'm over here, I have the rings and the copper already here, it's just a matter of getting them into more assemblers and go from there. So I'm going to do this and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go, the coils are being 
produce much more so we go down here and this is what I'm trying to keep producing I was noticing that it was slowing down so this should keep this going a little bit better uh, the, yeah, the actual motors themselves were sort of being backlogged so anyways so now I gotta take those things and combine it with copper and graphene to make the particle collider so I've got a bit of copper here somewhere I've got these here I'm just trying to figure out where I want to set this up because I'm probably going to have to set up uh, well, I don't know how big this thing is going to be for one uh, hmm what am I looking for? I'm looking for copper I have it here somewhere is that the actual copper copper or is this something else? I do not know and I had rings here too what do you know? anyway, I'll be back okay, I think I have everything all set up now so uh, yeah, I've got the motors over here, I've got the graphene coming in over here, and I have the copper down here. Let's go ahead and actually get a, a conveyor line going. No need in setting up logistical transport for this. Uh, I also do did manage to do a little bit of drone research, so I have three more drones. Now, where am I to go with this thing? Hmm. I don't want to go down there. I filled in a little bit of a pad. Like I said, I don't know how big this thing is actually going to be, but we're going to find out fairly soon. Let's do this right over here. Aha, it crosses over. Perfect. And perfectly lined up out of building range. Uh, of course, uh, let my army of drones go do this. Why did it all of a sudden go red? Oh, then I'm backtracking. That's right. Okay, so yeah, uh, let me get those the rest of this all connected. I just showed you what this was. Uh, these are going to be going into assemblers and into storage. Okay, I'm just about ready to go here. I'm just getting the last couple sorters connected. That's going to be our carpet coming in. I'm going to go over here and get our graphene rolling in. Oh, you're not going to connect, are you? Oh, no. Oh, lack of item. I can do that. Wait for it. Oh yeah, I gotta build the normal ones before I can build the norm. Uh, mark two, yeah. And there we go. All right, and now all the way down here to the motors. And do that all the way back over here uh, first we gotta get it some power I have made some extra Teslas all right, and that should cover everything perfect all right so now we are making particle containers here particle containers here uh, they are a four second craft but uh, that's why I've got two of them. I don't know how many of these frames I'm going to need. Uh, as far as I can tell, these things don't actually have a life span. Uh, and I stopped crafting processors, so... Uh, that's basically what we're waiting for next, because the next part into this is to make the strange matter. The strange matter, I need the deuterium. Uh, I could do it with the refinery, but it's like a 1% chance to get it, and I'd rather use the particle collider so I can get guaranteed. It just takes uh, a lot of hydrogen to do. So we are waiting on that uh, and the research and I will return when that is all done. Well, that's one way of always telling if the sun, when the sun's coming up is by seeing the actual Dyson swarms. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, there was something I realized. We can actually start producing these things right away and I remembered I was going to actually produce them here because I'm actually making the... Uh, the for those uh, the, the nanotubes or whatever and the titanium alloy so we'll make that here and we'll send these up to Lyseth Lyseth 1 uh, research is almost done uh, we're going to let it finish up on its own and once this research is done we can start actually getting into uh, uh, particle collider now what was it I actually needed for that thing ah yes these frames actually I could have be I could have made this right away but I didn't have the launch stuff so I need to get those things being produced now what are those motors these things super magnetic ring i wonder if i can produce this here uh, am i producing those those graviton motors i am actually 
I was producing them for uh, conveyors. And I have a lot of conveyors, <laughs> so I probably don't even need them anymore. But yeah, they're being produced here. I don't have them in storage. Maybe we'll start getting a backlog of that. And then start getting on to everything else. Uh, anyways, uh, that research is going to be done pretty quick, so let's get... Uh, why don't I set these things up? Uh, these frames. I, again, I have no idea how many I need. I need three of them for one of those. Oh, not for, yeah, frame material. That's going to be an expensive one. But anyway, so those tubes are actually being produced here. And I do have a fair supply of them. They're being used for the particle broadband, which is only being used for research as far as I know. Uh, I think I actually need those for the quantum chips, don't I? No, actually. I wonder what we actually need them for. I think it is just the research. Uh, anyway, let me uh, get some stuff laid out and I'll be back. Okay, so I got someone set up. Uh, so right now I don't actually have enough silicone being produced here to actually get this done. So I actually have to bring in silicone from Lessa 2 because I'm mass producing it there. Bring it here and then I'm also going to be sending these this frame material back out to... I think I was sending these out to... Yeah, back out to less F1 because I'm making the extra solar sails I can use there and I'll have to get more processors being produced which are not going to be silicone, iron, and copper which I think is all on the less F2 I think. But anyway, uh, I actually have to place another elevator down because uh, this one here is actually full. I've got, uh, I already have it set up to uh, get the diamonds taken in and going to have those being sent out. So now I gotta go ahead and let's go to transportation, place another elevator down, and yeah, we'll just stick it right in the middle of everything. Why not? All right, that's gonna do its thing. Go in here, and I do happen to have the drones on hand. So we have that. All right, and then I gotta get power. Power. All right, so now I wanna take in silicone. Uh, Remote demand, bring that to me please. And it's on the way, there they go, I love it. Alright, now, that's going to be doing that, so I need to take the silicone out of there. And I'm probably not going to, um... I just realized I'm not. I just had one of those moments, like I, like I said, I had uh, diamonds going into the elevator here. And I... I didn't realize that, like, I know when you're pulling stuff out, you actually have to set the filter on it. And I didn't even think about setting the filter and put the diamonds in. So it takes it in automatically. So that's actually a good thing. But anyways, I'm back to this one here. So on this one, I do have to get the filter set. I don't know if I have to have a conveyor actually connected to it. Or if I actually need the right resources. But So I am all set up over here. I just got to stick a... Split it there. We'll just do it there. That'll be fine. And bring this out. Collide with other object. What do you mean collides with other object? And I guess I have to move that. And I will get there eventually. Uh, uh, that should work. Should it not? Oh, I don't know why I was doing that. All right, and then we go over here. We'll go do do the old reach around, come around the back side, and like so. And then connect you to there, you to there. And then we're gonna set you up for frame material. Oh, no, not solar sails. Get rid of that. Frame material. Frame material. Now we're just waiting for the silicone. Which should be coming in any moment. Give me that filter. Thank you. And it is in transit. Ooh, we have 4,000 on the way. Nice. All right, now what is this thing going to need? Oh, uh, we need the particle collider now. I just realized I shouldn't have used up all that room. But since I've got the hydrogen over here. Hey, look, the first load of silicone's coming in. Nice. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Uh, I gotta get these things going back into the, the elevator because we're gonna be shipping them back out. In and out, don't. Oh, I hate that. Well, I don't hate that. But it'd be nice if it could adjust that conveyor so if you stop too close to the 
thing like that that you'd be able to be able to readjust it anyway uh, enough complaining we have stuff on the way all right uh, okay, that's already set to local supply so now what do I need for this particle collider uh, go to buildings and oh well, I can actually make it I just need the free materials oh 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 Actually, I could probably make them by hand, can't I? I think so. Uh, what do I need for them? Uh, frame material. I should know this by now. Oh, the graphene. Okay. Or not the graphene. Uh, carbon nanotube, yes. Alright, now... Oh, yeah. Had one of those moments. Alright, uh, I'm going to assume I need some more stuff. So I'll get this all done and I'll be right back. Okay, it is done. Now, the question is, is how big is this thing? Alright, now let's go to... Let's actually go to production. Where is it going to be? It's going to be research. It's going to be... Production. There we go. And it's called Paragon Cloud. It's actually really small. Alright, so I just got to have this close to the hydrogen. Uh, that's about it. Let's, uh... Get her there. Now, I'm assuming that, uh... Deuterium is going to come out as a liquid, so I might need... Uh, tank storage for this. At least I think. Do that for now. And... Man, where are ya? There you go. We have that. Now, where is the hydrogen? Hydrogen is here. Uh, let's see, it is coming off of... Coming off of this line. It's a little dark, I know. It'd be nice if you could get, like, little lights set up in the base. No, there probably is. I'm just not paying attention, but... Anyway, uh, okay, we do that, and that, and I just double check to make sure I'm actually recording, which I am. And we go back to here, oh, we do that, and, and this is going to be a problem again. I have to remove that conveyor, oh, maybe not. Alright, now we got to get this into the back of this thing over here, through this maze of conveyors. We can find a nice place to get this going here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to come around the front or something. Let me figure it out. Okay, I figured it out. I just decided to bring it up and over. Got some nice little height to it. Not crazy height, but good enough. Okay, and that goes in. Uh, collide. Oh yeah. This thing uh, take a one out for this to work. Angle too wide now. Come on. Is this one in the way? Is that what's going on? A quick adjustment of this conveyor. If I can. Alright, now let's try that. Oh. Uh, will that work? It does. Alright, so. It actually. Oh, this actually made in here. I thought that was made in an assembler. All right, well, we'll have to you know, set, build one of these on the other end there. All right, so now we have a particle collider. No black holes, I hope. So now what happens with this? Does it come out as a liquid is what I want to know. Hooray, deuterium. Oh, why won't you connect? Come on. Oh, I guess I have to move them. Let me get the, figure this out. Okay, I got it. We now have deuterium. And it is apparently a liquid. So, we have that going for us. So now... So now I gotta send deuterium... Do I have to send the deuterium? Yeah, I gotta send the deuterium up to less than two, I believe. So this has to go in the elevator as well. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking it's not coming out fast enough. Uh, what does it take to build one of those things? Not much. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. 
What? Can I not upgrade? There we go. No, it is working, and that should get us uh, get rid of some of this hydrogen supply that I have because I'm uh, getting that from the fire ice that I'm refined into the graphene, and I can always bring in hydrogen if I need to because I think I'm actually supplying it. But anyway, so now we gotta take this graphene, throw this into the elevator, which is just as easily as said as done. This makes a mess of my my factory. That's ah, not gonna work. Oh, I hate that. I, a lot of things I supposedly hate, but it's when you put, place a conveyor down and you realize that you actually have to move it. I do that and that. That's not going to work either. But this will. There we go. So now we have deuterium going in. And we set that on here on the remote supply. Okay. So now we go off to the next planet, I think. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Oh, hang on, I didn't actually set up the frames, right? Yeah, I gotta set up the frames, too. Okay, and then we're gonna set this up for the frame material and remote supply. Okay, so now I'll meet you at Lesset 2. Okay, I actually meant Lesset 2, but, uh... You know the problem here? I, uh, connected to the wrong conveyor line. So I got my silicone all mixed up with my prisms, but... So far, it's not that big of an issue, but... It's enough to halt production make this straight so I basically want to get this going at the elevator uh, that drift gets you sometimes anyway uh, yeah like so and silicone I believe is coming on this side right oh what did I build I have no idea I want to make sure that silicone is actually coming through here I think that's silicon. Only thing, all the other thing going in here is either that or titanium. So, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. We can actually connect this over to this line here because I know that this is silicon for sure. All right, that'll feed that. Hopefully, our prism production doesn't get all messed up. Where was that? Oh, it was over here. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Does it need? Uh, Oh, actually, that's going into the elevator. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just set a filter on this. Actually, you know what? I wonder if maybe I'll put the silicone on here, too. We'll just have this on uh, remote supply, too. There was actually silicone holding it up. Ah, okay. Yeah, always watch conveyors. You never know what's going to happen. Anyway, uh, what was I doing here? I was... I wanted to get... I wanted to get something going. We are making the strange matter. That's going to be made over on... Leseth 1. I was making something. Processors. Oh yes, processors. Any processors for this. Processors is that, and that, and everything's being produced here, so I'm going to get this going, and I will be back. Oh yeah, I forgot I actually had to make everything over here, because I don't actually have any iron over at uh, Lessa 2. So we're going to come over here, we're going to tap into this iron, we're going to tap into that copper over there. I do have silicon being requested at this one, and I'm going to get uh, the processors being made here. Okay, so I got the processors being made, we'll get into that in just a moment, but I need to get these gravitational lenses being produced. So I've got the, the particle containers here. Uh, I do have to get some iron and uh, tap into some more, uh, start bringing in uh, de deuterium. Now there are, there's probably some other iron veins I could probably use, instead of just tapping into another one, but why not? We're going to run out of it eventually, so we might as well grab what we can. I don't really need a lot for this, I don't think. What does the strain matter need? Needs two iron. This should this should keep it going. Yeah, I'll probably try to min get the most I can on this one minor. Maybe. See if we get a nine on here. A valid nine. Eight'll do. Alright. 
Alright, and then we go ahead and we'll just throw a smelter down. I'm not gonna worry about a backup chest because you know iron's everywhere. Alright, do that. One more. And bring this all the way down here. Uh, bring it to fly with our object. Oh. There we go. Alright, well you get the gif, so I'm going to bring these in and uh, I'll bring this in, I'll start bringing the deuterium and I'll run it through... What did we need to make that in? An assembler. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just about done here with the, the strange matter going to the graviton... Cool. Graviton thing about ours, the green thing, graviton lens, yes. Uh, so I'm, I have a bit of an issue here, I need uh, to bring in diamonds as well. Now, I do have spot for the diamonds, but as you can see, I have all four sides completely filled up, and as far as I know, I can't actually filter what space comes out on either side. Like, as far as I know, if I go up here to the filter, it just chooses whatever comes out this one side, so I think that's how it's going to work. So what I'll do is I will request the diamonds here, and go remote demand, and then it goes to local supply. Now what I've done is I actually have this this uh, logistics station here, which is actually going to take the diamonds from here, bring them over to here, so I can actually output them on a conveyor and send them over to this contraption over here. Now I I actually forgot that the strange matter needed a particle collider for, so I have that in place. So let's go ahead and get some more power set up. Uh, that was my backup fuel fuel supply. I actually forgot about that. I set that here to mine coal so I could always fill up on fuel if I needed to. Anyway, so in here we are going to make strange matter and in here we are going to end up making graviton lens. Now the graviton lens just needs strange matter and diamonds. And not being produced, why? Oh, because I got a Put more inserters down, of course. Alright, well, let's do uh, that. Now, where was that iron? Iron was... Did I not bring it over yet? I don't think I did. I thought I dropped another iron mine down. Uh, clearly not. Oh, yeah, I did. It actually needs power. Aha. Alright, we'll come across here and... See if we can get it all in one spot. Oh, what do you know? I need more inserters. Good game. Really enjoying it. A bit annoying with these, these arms all the time. Got these inserters. Alright, and you're doing iron. Okay. So that is that. So now I gotta get a few more of these down. There and there. And you are making graviton lens, so that means I need another storage container. Uh, if I start sending bots out to further out further distances, like to other stars, or not bots but drones, I will have to start produce uh, start producing a lot of these. Strange matter, it's matter, and strange. Anyway, uh, okay. So now, to bring in the diamonds. Do that. Oh, actually, that was actually something I forgot about. Uh, I noticed this when I was placing this before. I can actually go ahead when I go and I come out. I can actually use tab or my arrow keys to choose what I want this to be. And then it just auto automatically goes ahead and selects it so I don't have to go up and change the filter. So that was pretty cool. So now to bring this over to here. Amongst this conglomeration of conveyors. Hmm. You gotta hop over no matter what I want to try to keep them all all in line, but that's not gonna happen. So it's gonna have to do that and that and then we went down here. And then we want these. going into here. And with that... My drones are done. 
I definitely should research the task so I can take two things at once. Or get more drones or faster drones and other good stuff so I don't have to keep on rambling. And there we go. Oh, here comes the diamonds. So we should be making gravitational lenses now. Here they come. Racing away. Oh, get off of that. There we go. Gravitational lens. Now, I need 20 of these to make a launch platform. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to get to the uranium, too. Or deuterium rods. I can actually make some of these by hand. It's just energy, but I need them to make it these carrier rockets. And I also have to make these for the carrier rockets. Okay. I'm going to check the recording time here. I have a feeling we're going over and we might have to continue this in the next episode. Yeah, we seem to hit about that 40 minute mark, so I think we'll call this one here. We, this is a bit of a logistics nightmare, but we have got processors being matched produced here. I've got uh, particle containers turning into strange matter, turning into gravitational lens, which we can actually use to make warp cores, or space warpers, which allows for warp travel, so we can go to further stars and stuff. And we also have these being mass produced, so now in the next episode we're going to start piecing everything together. We're going to get those solar sails, the frames, and the processes I'm producing over here. We're going to start making these, and we're going to get a launch, a launch platform, not a launch silo even. Get a launch silo going, get some drones, and we'll start putting these uh, nice and spheres together. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.